What's going on everyone? It's Marco from PhoneDog.com and well, the time has come. We finally have our hands on the Galaxy Note 4, which should look pretty familiar to all of you since we just had hands on with it about a month ago. So let's cut the chit chat and dive straight into the unboxing and first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Before we get into the unboxing, this packaging and the contents inside of this box will vary from country to country, but this is an international model just to let you know, and what you see here is probably not what you're going to get on every single Galaxy Note 4. And if you do want to get your hands on the Galaxy Note 4 a bit earlier than its October 17th launch here in the States, go check out the good folks over at 28 Mobile who helped supply this Note 4 for our review, and that link will be down in the description below. First things first, the box of the Galaxy Note 4 compared to previous generations is a lot smaller. Funny enough, it's smaller than the Galaxy Alpha box, which is a tiny phone compared to the Note 4. The box looks pretty minimalistic with the Galaxy Note 4 written on the front, and peeking inside the box will reveal the beautiful Galaxy Note 4 sitting in a beautiful looking white color, and we'll just take this guy out and put it to the side, and further inside the box you'll find the manuals and all of your accessories. We do have this huge wall work for a different country, your USB cable to charge and connect to your computer, a pair of earphones, some extra tips for your stylus and that's about it. And now back to the Galaxy Note 4. If you recall from my hands-on video, the Galaxy Note 4 has been slightly redesigned. Gone are the plastic sides of the Galaxy Note 4 and now we find a more premium aluminum frame and chamfered metal edges surrounding the entire device. The build quality has increased by a million quadruple times when compared to the Galaxy Note 4 or even its S5 brethren. The metal sides are absolutely beautiful, the chamfered edges make it look fantastic, and the phone has a true solid feel when it sits in the hand. Now it may be a little heavier than I'd like it to be, but you'll probably get used to it. As long as you don't wear really tight pants, this phone should not be a problem. The only little feature that still bothers me about the Galaxy Note 4 is the back is still made out of this faux leather. Now it feels plenty much better than the Galaxy Note 3 faux leather, and it is a lot more grippy, but still it's fake, but it does give you a very important aspect of having the Galaxy Note 4, which means you still have a removable back cover, which means you can purchase extra batteries. We also have made Major upgrades in the hardware side of things with a 2.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 805, although this model is running an octa-core Exynos 5 configuration because it is an international model, so it has one 1.9 GHz quad-core processor and a second 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, but anyone who's going to be buying it in the US or some of the European models, you will find a 2.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 805 chip, 3 GB of RAM, and the new Adreno 420 GPU across all the devices. Another huge update to the Galaxy Note 4 is the new display. Simply put, it's stunning. Now into the realm of Quad HD, this 5.7 inch display didn't get any bigger from last year, but it has a lot more pixels. Now cramming 515 pixels per inch, plus this display is really killer, absolutely the best display I've ever seen on any single smartphone. I was stunned at the event looking at it, but now having it at home, it's a really, really good display. The camera has also been upgraded to a 16 megapixel sensor, also found on the Galaxy S5 with the addition of optical image stabilization, which should be a killer combo for the UHD video at the Galaxy S5 shoots. Add that with OIS on the Galaxy Note 4 and you should have the best of both worlds. And apart from a few other changes, which I'll be sure to mention in future videos including the full review, that's the Galaxy Note 4, or at least my first impressions after opening the box. I know a lot of you want lots of content about the Galaxy Note 4 and we'll be sure to make that happen, but make sure to leave a comment below or send me a tweet to ask me to show something in specific detail that you would like to take a look at, my Twitter handle is at phone dog underscore Marco. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe for the Galaxy Note 4 full review, which will be coming very soon, and all other future tech videos from phonedog.com. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna from phonedog.com, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.